In this video, let's implement the ice cream feature. Make sure you code along with me as that will really help remember the Redux toolkit pattern. Step one, in the ice cream feature folder, create a new file called icecreamslice.js. Within the file, import the create slice function from Redux toolkit. So const create slice is equal to require Redux toolkit dot create slice. Invoke the function and assign the returned value to a constant. So const ice cream slice is equal to create slice. Step two, add a name for the slice. So we pass in an object as an argument and set name to ice cream. Step three, add the initial state for the slice. So define const initial state is equal to an object with number of ice creams set to 20 and then specify the key value pair as a shorthand for create slice. Step four, define the reducer's mapping. We already know the state transitions, so I'm going to go over this fairly quick. We have one called ordered, which receives state, and we decrement the number of ice creams by one. We also have restocked, which receives state and action. And we increment the number of ice creams by the action payload. So plus equal to action payload. Step five, export the reducer as the default export and actions as named export. So module dot exports is equal to ice cream slice dot reducer and module dot exports dot ice cream actions is equal to ice cream slice dot actions. Step six, import the reducer in store dot js and attach it to the store. Const ice cream reducer And we require it from features slash ice cream slash ice cream slice. In the reducer object, specify ice cream set to ice cream reducer. Final step, import the actions in index.js and dispatch a few of them. So const ice cream actions is equal to require from features slash ice cream slash ice cream slice and since this is a named export dot ice cream actions. Now we can dispatch ice cream actions dot ordered two times and restocked with a value of two. Back in the terminal, from within Redux Toolkit demo folder, if we run node index, you should see the state transitions as expected. We have the initial state of 10 and 20. Three times cakes are ordered, cakes are restocked, twice ice creams are ordered, and finally ice creams are restocked. Our cake and ice cream shop application is working as expected, but with a much needed renovation with Redux Toolkit. Now one thing I would like to point out here is the absence of the combine reducers function. With plain Redux, we had to use combine reducers to combine multiple reducers into a root reducer as you can see. With Redux Toolkit though, the configure store function will handle that under the hood. As a developer, you can attach one reducer or multiple reducers. It simply does not matter. 
In the next video, let's see how to apply middleware with Redux Toolkit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.